Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. I hope you're all doing well, having a fabulous weekend, and you're just as excited as me about this week, because if you are not aware, yes, this week is whole week, and we are starting off with a bang. We're starting off with ASOS. I have so many autumn winter goodies that I'm gonna share with you, and I'm so, so excited to get into. But as well as it being whole week, it is also giveaway week on this channel. I will be giving something away every single day here on this channel. So today, to kick it off with a bang, I'm gonna be giving away a 100 pound ASOS voucher. This is just to say a huge thank you, by the way, guys. I feel like this channel has really grown this year. I've really felt so connected to you guys this year. And I just feel very happy and lucky um, to have YouTube as my job. I'm very grateful for you. So I kind of want to give back a little bit and I'm really, really excited about this week. If you want to know how you guys can enter the giveaway and win the 100 pound ASOS voucher, I'm going to leave all of that information below. It's very simple. Essentially, make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube chat, YouTube? YouTube channel, following me on Instagram, and then go ahead and tag a friend on my recent ASOS post. So I would have posted it the same time this video went live. I'll pop a picture up of the photo here. Uh, but all of the T's and C's and all of that good stuff will be in the description box if you want to check that out and find out a little bit more information on how you guys can enter the giveaway. ASOS isn't your thing and you're waiting for another voucher, it's coming guys. I've got a video coming out every single day this week. So keep your post notifications on, like press the little bell um, and that way you guys will be notified when I'm uploading. If you are new then hello, hi, welcome. My name is Georgia May and thanks for joining my channel. It's nice to see you. I am so excited to get into all of these bits. May have already cheated. I might have actually filmed this video once already but we had some technical difficulties. So we're back here again, filming it again. To be honest guys as well with my delivery, ASOS was the quickest. They were fab, couldn't rate them better. And I bought all of these bits and bobs myself. So I'm gonna be very, very honest. Just a little bit of a disclaimer. I know this week can seem quite indulgent and materialistic. Um, I'm kind of doing it more in aid to help you pick out some key pieces for your winter wardrobe. Please do not feel like you need to go out and purchase all of the things that I share with you guys. It's hopefully just to help you make some like intelligent decisions going forward for autumn winter of a few key pieces you might want to introduce to your wardrobe. So maybe wait until the last video is out and then have a, you know, idea of what one or two bits you might want to pick up. Sit back, grab a cup of tea, glass of something, bubbly, whatever you fancy, and let's just get straight on into today's video. So I actually have my phone here because I want to make sure I have the price of absolutely everything. I'm going to start out with one of the more expensive, pricier pieces, and that is a good old autumn winter coat. I think coats are so important. I think they're what you see when you go out and about, and they kind of just make or break an outfit because you could be wearing anything underneath a coat, but if you have a stylish coat on, you're winning. This coat is from Asus' own brand, and it retails for £75. I picked it up in a UK 10, and it is Gorgeous. I'm so impressed with this coat. I think it's made really, really nicely. It's completely lined. And coats are expensive this year, guys. I have got some other brands coming up this week. I've got Zara, H&M, Mango. And I did purchase coats from a lot of those stores. And they are not cheap. You know, we are talking like £100, £150 for a coat upwards of that so 75 pounds i thought was like somewhat reasonable if it's gonna last you a long time and be good quality and i'm i, I have to say i'm so pleasantly impressed with asos um it's a really really nice length it feels heavy and good quality has all this button detailing two big pockets i really like the detailing on the sleeve also comes with a belt cinch in your waist can you tell i'm loving this i really am loving this so like i said i did grab it in a UK 10. I love wearing my coats kind of like this in the evening. Am I the only one? Have I gone insane? Obviously, if you want to wear a coat like a normal human being. Oh, I love it. I love the colour. It is extremely oversized. So I was a little bit unsure whether or not to go for the 10 or the 12. I ended up going for the 10, but typically in coats, I do actually go for a 12 just so I can layer uh, knitwear underneath. But I actually think this is perfect in the size 10. It's a really nice kind of oversized fit, but it's not too much. And also by having the belt, um, as much as I love anything oversized, I do like to give myself a little bit of shape just because sometimes things can kind of make me look you know, almost bigger than I am when I don't have any shape to them. So I really like this, it has some really nice slouchy pockets for you to put things in. The length is fab on me, it hits me about like mid calf. If you are on the smaller side, this might drown you this coat because it definitely is big and 
bulky and oversized. If you guys don't know, I am five foot seven and I'm roughly a UK size 10 to 12. So hopefully that will help you guys a little bit if you're not sure on my sizing. I actually think it's great. Problem is with this week's videos, guys, is I was planning on returning all of these things. I was not planning on keeping them. They were more to kind of showcase to you guys what's available in the stores at the moment. And now I want to keep everything, so I'm a little bit concerned. I absolutely love it. The only thing that it does kind of concern me is it somewhat reminds me of, you know, in Hairspray, the flasher, when he's like walking down the street and he's like that. I don't know, I kind of get those vibes a little bit, but I'm not mad about it. I actually love it, so... Yeah, I don't want to return this. So moving on from coats, I do have another coat, but we'll come back to it in a bit. I'm actually gonna show you guys um, a sweater vest moment. I already have one of these on. I'm loving this trend. I know it is a little bit of a trend, but I'm into it. This one is actually from Depop. We'll be seeing it in my Depop haul. I think they're really cool and I'm, I am really am vibing this. So I saw this one on Stradivarius. I believe it was 15.99. I got it in a UK medium. I was a little bit, surprised when it arrived because the knit is very very fine the nice thing about this one that i've got from depop is it actually does keep me quite warm it's quite a thick chunky knit this is definitely on the thinner side so i guess it's kind of more of a layering piece than necessarily something that's going to keep you warm i love the idea of the gray and i think they're very easy to style so i'll try this on and we can see what we make of it so this is the one from did i just say it was from bershka Shadow Arius. I'm really sorry, I've already forgotten where it's from. Underneath, I just have on a white shirt, which is actually from Pretty Little Thing. I'll link this below, but honestly, you could just get these anywhere. They're just very, very useful in my wardrobe. I like the fact that it's a little bit kind of slouchy, if you guys can see. I really like this trend. Um, it's a little bit more kind of masculine for my style, but I love that. It's comfortable. I actually really do like that about it. This is what it's looking like at the back. I don't know if it's a little bit up like so, but... Yeah, I think it's cute. It's a definitely a nice piece in my wardrobe. Depends what you guys think of it. I don't know if you're at uni or something, or this is something you would wear often. Um, I think for the price, it's nice. However, there might be nicer ones on the high street. The only thing I will say is they sell out like that. I mean, I've gone on ASOS multiple times and typed in sweater vest. And every time I do, they're not in stock. So that's the only thing but it's cute it's very very cute next up i'm gonna do a couple skirts i actually bought two of these pleated style skirts to share with you guys i know this is a huge trend at the moment i love a skirt i always harp on about it but i always feel a little bit more comfortable in a skirt or a dress it's just a personal thing i don't know why because i picked up some really really chunky like knee high thigh high kind of boots i thought that these pleated skirts would look great with that also, I wore these a lot at the beginning of this year, like January, February, with like really cool pattern tights and stuff like that. So you can kind of make them a little bit more your own. I'll start by trying on the black faux leather one. I kind of really love this as an outfit. So like schoolgirl vibes, very preppy. Kind of gives me gossip girl vibes. I'm really into that style though. Um, I've always loved that kind of style. I'm quite like gossip girl influenced with a lot of my winter style i actually think this is a really really cute little outfit and like i mentioned i do have these super chunky thigh high boots now i'll probably just insert a clip of me actually with these on because they are a little bit awkward to get on and off but i will put in an overlay so you guys can see I believe these were 49.99 and i got them from stradivarius i will do my absolute best to link them below i think these are fab if you are looking for a winter boot that is going to keep your legs warm as well but also be comfortable they have this super chunky sole kind of reminds me of like a doc martin sort of sole very edgy very grungy like will really toughen up a look the camera is making them look a little bit shinier than they are just because i have two ring lights in front of me and a load of lights in person they're not as kind of shiny looking they actually look so good for boots that are not real leather and they're really, really soft. I actually think these are one of my favorite things from the haul video. I just think they're a really, really nice winter boot. And as much as I don't wanna say it, I really do wanna keep them. Um, so I will drop a link to these below if you guys are interested. You'll probably see me wear them over on Instagram. I think they're very cool. The only thing I am gonna comment on um, is the length. The length is totally not okay for me. So I'm gonna try and do this so that you guys can actually see it a little bit better um it fits me really nicely on the waist like i said i went for a large in this the length is literally not okay like even if i had tights on it's just far too short and i think that's a shame these skirts don't actually go up to an xl so i think it's kind of sad that a uk 12 is the biggest size that they will do um i feel like that's kind of crazy to me i know a lot of you guys are similar size to me and think that you couldn't maybe pick this up because like this is the biggest size just that something about it just doesn't really sit well with me so yeah a little bit gutted about that because i think it's a very very cute skirt i think because i have a little bit of 
volume here it tends to lift things up a lot you'll know what i mean if you have a bit of a larger bum um so i need things even longer really in the back for me to kind of cater for that which is a little bit frustrating i think it's a really cute skirt but it's probably not going to work out and this is the kind of plaid um sort of checked gray one i think it looks really nice with this gray sweater um and obviously the white shirt but again i'm kind of having the same issues the length at the back it's not okay it's actually even worse in this one such a shame i love this shape skirt i think it's really flattering nips in at the waist skims over the kind of thighs and the um hips comfortable you can eat whatever you want all of all of ticks all my boxes but the length is really not ideal on me next up i'm gonna do another little outfit these two pieces together so i did actually go a little bit all out for this video and purchase something that was a bit more expensive so this is another brand that they sell on asos and it's called and other stories you guys might have heard of them they obviously have their own stores as well um and their own website and i was actually going to do an entire haul just from and other stories but i i don't know i i haven't done it just because it is a more expensive site i didn't know how many of you guys would be kind of interested in that it's a little bit different for my channel but i think as i'm getting a bit older i'm definitely so much more interested in pieces that i will have for longer that are better quality that might keep me warmer that are less see-through sort of all of those things so i thought let's just get one piece and see what we think i think this was 75 pounds i grabbed it in a small which sounds so weird but when i went on the sizing chart it said that a uk 10 was a size small to sort of match with that I picked up a tweed skirt. Couldn't be an autumn winter haul without me picking up a little bit of tweed. If you've been following me since I went to Venice, you will know that tweed and big balloon sleeves and all of that sort of thing is so a bit of me. I got it in UK 12. It's from a brand called Girl In Mind. Again, a brand that is sold on ASOS. And it did come with a really cute matching tweed jacket, which I'm now having this weird thing, like why didn't I get the matching jacket? But yeah, I didn't. Okay, I feel cute. I'm gonna say it, I feel cute. I think when we feel good in things, we should own it. It's not a bad thing, guys, okay? So yeah, I'm actually gonna say I feel really cute in this outfit. I feel, I feel comfortable and I think that's the thing. I always try these trends and try these like different things and try and branch out my style, but if I'm perfectly honest, this just feels so much more me. I actually really love this and I think it's very, very cute. Um, Let's start with, should we start with the top? start with the top sorry for putting my hair in front of my face we need it behind my shoulders so this is obviously one of the more pricey items in this video i actually really do like this um i actually am happy with the fact that i got it in a small it is a really nice flattering cut so even if you didn't want to do this with a skirt you could do this with a pair of high-waisted jeans some faux leather trousers love the fact that it has a bit of a shoulder pad moment anyone who knows me knows i love a shoulder pad that's why i love a blazer because it just gives you that kind of like shape that i really like i quite like a broad shoulder love the color of this the quality does feel lovely it is a really really nice jumper i am going to raise one issue which might be a very personal one um, and something i might struggle with throughout the rest of the week it's a little bit itchy on my skin it's not horrendous i'm not like get it off me it is a little bit itchy now because it was a bit itchy i thought oh does that mean it's wool so i looked in the label and it's like something like three percent wool so it's not a wool cardigan um it's not necessarily made with like higher quality fabric or what have you it just has a little bit of an itchy texture personally i couldn't wear it without anything i would want to put some sort of a camisole under here love these like sort of big buttons that it has oh god it is really cute you know i really like this one gonna return it though because i don't need it and then this is the outfit um all together which i actually think this pairs quite nicely together i was a bit worried about all the buttons but i kind of like it and this is the tweed skirt i really like this this is a skirt that i can get on board with the length feels appropriate really nice quality nice and thick definitely going to keep you warm I think the size 12 is perfect and for a tweed fabric it actually has a little bit of stretch to it i love tweed but it never really has a lot of give that can obviously be a bit of an issue but this does have a little bit of like movement in it i don't feel like i'm walking like this do you know what i mean now i want to go online and get the matching little tweed jacket i would probably pair this what i've got on right now with some thigh high or knee high nude or neutral boots you could potentially even do gray maybe i probably wouldn't lean towards black but that's just personally and i actually think that the coat i showed you guys from earlier would pair so well with this actually really into this i think it's cute 
Hello? She's working. I'm working on a Saturday. Ew. I'm working on a Saturday night. Don't worry, I'm set in bed on a Saturday night. What on earth? Next up, I just couldn't resist but pick up a beige white cream coloured coat. Completely impractical, definitely not going to be for everyone. But if you are like me and you do tend to wear this colour a lot in the winter, um, or just in general and spill all sorts over it, this one might be for you. This is really lovely. So this is from Stradivarius and I got it in a large. I am really into the quality of this for this style of jacket. Completely lined all the way inside with the faux fur, which I think is nice because a lot of these brands sometimes do it halfway, not all the way on the inside. Oh my gosh, like if you were going out for an evening and you wanted a little bit more of like a luxe coat, so you know, something that looks a little bit more extra, a little bit more dressy, this is gonna be for you. The faux fur on the sides looks great. I really, really, I really like this. The only thing I will say is a little bit on the shorter side. Um, so you might wanna stick to sort of wearing it with tops and things that are gonna hit either where the jacket does or, you know, like a little bit higher. Again, I went for a large. It doesn't really give you a lot of shape, but that's that sort of aviator style. Um, oh, I just pulled the protector thing off the zip. Yeah, I think this is cute. I think this is really cute. I think this is really nice. Obviously you could do it a little bit more high necked. I'm just trying not to get any makeup on this. I get myself a winter jacket or a winter coat and I really do fall for them. Like this is nice quality. The only thing that is just weird because I've got weirdly long arms, it's a little bit short in the arms, but it is a really nice like sort of evening jacket or if you wanted to kind of dress it down and do it with jeans. Yeah. What can I say? I actually really do enjoy this. I don't have too much left. I do have um, these two jumpers that I'm going to pop on for you now. I'll start out with the, let's start with the cream because I'm in cream. This one I got from a brand called Naked. I've heard a lot about them on Instagram. I think they're quite a known, a known well, a well known, you can tell it's late, a well known Instagram brand. It was in the sale I believe. I think it was down to £22. This is the brand that is sold on Instagram. I tried to shop with like loads of different brands so I could show you guys what is kind of available. That's the good thing about ASOS. They have like so many brands to pick from. So now we have our first kind of chunky winter knit, I feel, of the week. First things first, it has that sort of like, I don't know what this is called, you know when it's got the oh, tighter bit at the bottom? And I always tend to find this quite unflattering when it kind of just sits, so I always fold it under. But yeah, if you're wondering, it has that at the bottom of it. I, just a personal thing, I, do you know what it is? I just never like myself in a roll neck. It's quite high, I feel like it can cut me off a little bit. Sometimes it like looks like I have a neck brace on. However, saying all of that, this is probably the warmest style of jumper. Like if you are in a really, really cold climate or if you are in the UK, it does get really cold in like November, December, January time. And I feel like this is more of a jumper that will keep you a lot warmer versus for example, that like gray sweater vest that I showed you guys at the beginning or even this cardigan, which I really like, but you know, it's V-neck. It's not, it's not gonna keep you warm. So kind of depends what you're looking for for the winter. I really love the sort of design down the sides. I think that's lovely. It's nice and long. It feels warm, I love the colour, um, and for £22 I think it looks a little bit more expensive than that, which I think is great. Yeah, it's just something about this kind of chunky roll neck that I never love about myself whenever I watch um, things back, but it's cute, it is cute. Next up I'm going to try this jumper, this is from Bershka, again I got it in a medium, this goes up to a large and it goes down to an extra small. This I thought was really good with leather look leggings mostly, I thought this would be a nice option, I really like the colour of this, this is a super soft knit as well, not that this isn't, but this is like really really soft, I don't know if it's a bit more like acrylic, which I'm not mad about, I like the feeling of having like a soft jumper on my skin so let's give this one a go didn't expect this to be as big as it is um it's definitely a lot longer i mean if you're on the petite side you could definitely get away with wearing this as a jumper dress which i think would be so nice for me it's just a little bit too short i think like i i would definitely want some shorts underneath or something this is so super soft i really love it i love how it's nice and loose like under the arms super comfortable like if comfort's something that you're looking for this is lovely has a little bit more of like a kind of wider neck it doesn't go up to like a roll neck soft i really do love this i think this is something that i would actually wear um, and that's like kind of what i feel like i have to be careful with i tend to get carried away fall in love with pieces of clothing but then practically i don't end up reaching for them a lot whereas honestly this with some faux leather trousers some doc martens a big coat love it really really like this feels really nice and soft um if you're at uni or if you kind of lean towards this sort of thing 
think you might quite like it. It definitely is roomy as well, so you can layer up underneath, put a thermal on underneath, long sleeve top. So lastly, best to last, I have this oversized blazer. Oh, that's my phone from ASOS. This is actually from their own brand called Collusion. I love this brand so much. They're kind of more of like a unisex brand. Everything is very like, you know, there's not necessarily like boys and women's. Like it's like boys and women's, um, men and women's. It's very much like either or, like whatever you fancy, whatever you like the look of. I fell in love with this charcoal. Kind of has a little bit of like a sheen to it, which I love. I think it makes it look a little bit more evening appropriate. Blazer. I've already worn this out, so this is staying. This is 100% gonna be worn so much throughout the next few months. I am in love with this. You guys might have seen on my Instagram, I wore this on a night out really recently, and I just love it. I think it looks so cool. So lastly, I have the um, oversized blazer. I grabbed this in a large. I think it goes up to a 2XL, so totally depends what kind of fit you want, but it is like oversized. Like the shoulder pads are really sitting off my shoulder. That's what I love about it. I feel like I'm wearing like my dad's really big oversized blazer or like a boyfriend's or it just has that really slouchy fit. I'm so happy this sort of stuff is like on trend because it's not the tight body con. It's totally a different vibe, but I really, really like it. I just feel very comfortable in it. Like I wore it out and I, the whole night felt so comfortable. I wasn't like pulling at my dress and you know that kind of feeling? No, this is a winner for me. Um, it has a really nice soft feel to the fabric. They've just added the little kind of like collusion detail there to the sleeve. Really like it. It has one singular button that goes across. Um, I did pair this with a belt. I just wore a belt from Nasty Gal. But you know, you can do no belt with it. I think it's really cool. You can do it undone and do like a jumper underneath and like some leggings or jeans and like really dress it down and wear it in the day. I've recently adopted my mum's um, kind of vintage, I guess, 90s. Tees Gucci bag and this is literally how I wore it out the other night with a little kind of shoulder bag and I did some over the knee boots because it was a little bit colder and I love it. It gives me very like Sophia and Chintzia vibes. I feel like this is a very Chintzia blazer but I'm not mad about it. I think it's cute. I definitely recommend checking out Collusion if you haven't already. They have some really nice pieces as well as Reclaimed Vintage. That's another one on um, ASOS. I didn't actually pick anything up from them this time, but I really do like them as a brand. And in the summer, I bought a few pieces from them and they kind of like repurpose stuff, which I think is a really nice idea. So yeah, I would say Reclaimed Vintage and Collusion are kind of two of my favorite brands on ASOS at the moment. So as you can see, my rail is now looking a little bit sad and lonely. I do have some pieces, but they're all the way over here. That kind of sums it up for today's ASOS sauce haul i really hope you guys enjoyed it like i said everything will be linked below and i will put my sizes next to every single piece if you have any questions about anything feel free to ask them below i'll also leave the guidelines to my giveaway i am really excited about this i've never done anything like this before so i'm just like oh my god this is gonna be so much fun i am personally giving away a 100 pound voucher to asos all of the conditions will be in the description box of how you guys can enter that please get involved please enter um i really want one of you guys to win and i'm really excited and hopefully you might be able to purchase something that I showed from this video with the voucher and like I mentioned this isn't the only giveaway I'll be doing have no fear I have a Zara giveaway coming up and some other little things lined up along the way so yeah just keep your notifications on keep coming back to this channel and um, I will see you all in tomorrow's video bye guys